More time in Arkansas with that comes fun, but also some dangers our families need to be aware of so to keep us safe and out of the emergency room. I have Dr. Adam Cox here, uh, internal medicine specialist with Conway Regional Health System, to talk about some of those dangers and, uh, that we have faced over the summer and, of course, uh, some precautions to have. The biggest one, I guess, is, well, and maybe not the biggest, but one that we may kind of th not think about so much, but it could be a big concern is like the insects. The, the, we think about mosquitoes, but that's probably not the biggest worry, is it? Right. Um, in Arkansas, a big threat to us are insects and ticks, uh, mosquitoes in particular. Um, Arkansas in the summer months uh, is tick season, April through September, so we're mm -hmm. right in the middle of it. But uh, tick bites can occur um, throughout the year. Um, so it's important to uh, take prevention uh, into mind to prevent any tick or mosquito bites. Mm -hmm. And it's important to wear um, uh, insect repellent uh, that's EPA registered, particularly those containing DEET. Um, and when you're coming uh, back uh, from outside to inside, make sure to check your clothes uh, for any ticks um, and be sure to remove them as soon as possible. Um, check any children or pets that are coming inside yes, as that's well. That's one thing we've learned too. We we're going to be in some high grass or something or in the woods, something. We say we always check everything on your body. That's correct. You basically got to strip down and check everything out. What is, if someone's been, if you've been tick bite and you didn't find the tick, what are some symptoms to be looking for? Yeah, so some common uh, tick borne illnesses and mosquito borne illnesses can have similar symptoms. Mm -hmm. So be on the lookout for uh, headache, fevers, chills, uh, muscle aches, sometimes mm -hmm. nausea and vomiting, uh, sometimes rashes. If you develop these symptoms, be sure to be evaluated by a medical professional. The key to treatment is early diagnosis in these diseases, um, and hopefully it keep you, you know, out of the ER getting severely sick. All right, the sun's a big thing as well. In the month of June, our sun angle is the highest. That's probably when most sunburns happen in the early part of the summer, because we're probably not thinking about it so much yet. So obviously wear the sunscreen. What's the SPF factor we need to really look for in this? Uh, the minimum um, that we want to apply is SPF 30. Mm, okay. um, so uh, be sure to apply the sunscreen at least every two hours, maybe more often if you're getting in and out of the pool. Because it washes off? Exactly. Even and if it says water resistant, it still does? Yeah, water bit? resistant isn't waterproof. Mm, okay. um, they're not allowed to say waterproof anymore. Um, but also uh, make sure that you wear uh, clothes that cover your skin, uh, hats with a lot of shade, uh, covers the face, ears, and the back of the neck. Um, and then, yeah, be sure to reply uh, on kids uh, every two hours, regardless Do of the Are sunglasses writing. good? Does that help? Like some, some sunscreen? Sunglasses screening? are good. Uh, make sure that they have UVA and UVB protection. Uh -huh. um, that will help prevent um, um, any uh, uh, damage that may occur. Um, skin cancer is the most common uh, cancer in uh, the United States. One in five Americans will develop skin cancer. Um, and the best way we can prevent that is from uh, preventing overexposure from UV rays. And that's wearing, make sure you're wearing your sunscreen. All, right, all those good tips. Dr. Cox, thank you so much for being here this, this morning. Hey, when we come back, Rance is going to give us the answer to the Coffee Talk trivia question, which I, I, my answer was one of these things right here. So we'll see if that's it. <laughs>